When I was a kid, I've always drawn. I can't remember ever not having drawn. I mean, when I was three years old, I was drawing all the time. Um, but when I was around seven or eight years old, I discovered comic books. And that was the first time in my life that there was a kind of focus to what I was doing. It was like, oh, someone does this. Someone's you know making a living at this. This is a job. This is something you can go do. And I fell in love with the storytelling aspect that comics have. But once I went to school, once I got beyond, you know, when I was getting older, I started to discover more of art history. And I realized there was a lot more out there that I liked. And I started moving towards that kind of fine art side of things. Um, once I kind of explored that, then I, I kind of came back to my roots and I've incorporated a lot of that very kind of illustration style into my work. But I'm not making just an illustration for something. I'm making an eight foot tall drawing. I'm making these big pieces of work. I'm just using some of those techniques from when I was, you know, trying to be a comic book illustrator. And I love connecting things narratively and saying, I'm gonna make 20 pieces and they only work when you see all 20 of them together and that sort of thing. Uh, this is uh, basically, we're in the figure drawing studio. Um, all the figure drawing classes take place in this studio. It's designed to um, work well with things like still lifes or models, that sort of thing. All the lighting in here is fantastic in that we can control individual banks. We can control exactly how you move specific lights, all of that kind of stuff. So in terms of working with a model or lighting something, the, the studio is pretty ideal for that. You know, if you're drawing, you've got to be able to see. And, and that's, that's a big deal. And, and a lot of people, when, when you're learning how to draw, what you're really learning how to do is how to see. Um, instead of what your brain tells you is there, you're actually having to see the component geometric forms, the lights, the shadows, all that kind of stuff. And so having good lighting, having a good space is really, really important for the student to be able to learn what they're supposed to learn and develop as they're supposed to develop. I think the other thing that doesn't get talked about enough with what an art degree can do for someone is that art degrees are gonna teach problem solving and they're gonna teach those perceptual skills. So even if you go out and don't get a job that's necessarily 100%, you know, drawing, painting, sculpting, or something like that, you're gonna excel at whatever it is because you're gonna be able to be creative and solve problems that maybe other people can't. So it helps in almost every field to be able to um, be able to do what we do. I think one of the things that I find interesting is how many people will have that are majoring in something else but are doing like an art minor or they come over here to take classes and they end up developing those very same problem solving skills that ends up making those other majors too, you know, even better for what they're doing. The faculty are practicing what they preach. And that for me was the number one thing is that the instructors here are making work, they're exhibiting work. They're out in the community. They're not just showing up, teaching their, their class and then going home and not doing any kind of art making. They make art. And to me, if you wanna be an artist, that's the most important thing because it's not just the techniques of how do I say draw the figure. It's also, well, how do I put a portfolio together? How do I find a way to exhibit my work? What happens when I've got a body of work and I wanna learn how to frame it up right? Or I need to do all these different things. And the instructors here know how to do all that. They do it regularly. And so you can actually reach out to your, your instructor and ask these kinds of questions and get an actual answer. And to me, that's far above many of the other reasons why you might wanna do it. It's just they're working artists and you wanna be around working artists. Hello, my name is Sansere Davis. I am double majoring in photography and biology. One thing that I enjoy about the art building is the fact that I can work with film and digital and being in the red room and den room, messing with chemicals to develop my film. Another thing that I enjoy about the art building is the fact that I can be an assistant in the art gallery. Being in the art gallery, we can talk more in depth about the artwork that you don't normally do in class and you help those understand all different perspectives, seeing so many other works. Um, if this is something that you guys enjoy and like just being around art, I feel like this is something for you too. So thank you.